So there are five areas in the world where ocean currents concentrate the plastic, and the largest one of these accumulations is the, uh, the infamous Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is the one halfway between Hawaii and California. This is the one image that shows what it's all about. It's getting worse fast. It simply will not go away by itself. It's persistent. Um, look at these smallest pieces, the, the so-called microplastics. Uh, we estimate that these may have been large objects when they entered the ocean, say, in the, in, the, in the 50s or 60s. But due to sunlight, plastic becomes more brittle as the decades pass. And then it starts to break up into these small but very dangerous pieces. Dangerous because the contents of this dish are the actual stomach contents of a single sea turtle that was found dead in Uruguay uh, last year. So, so not only does the plastic stay in the ocean, uh, but it also becomes more, more harmful over time. Why go after the plastic if the plastic can come to you? We're taking this idea one step further saying, well, to catch the plastic, act like the plastic. Sure. And uh, what we've done here is we've basically recreated the conditions as you would find them in the ocean. So we have fast current at the surface and a slow current at depth. And actually, you can see that right here. We have this stick with the lines attached to it. You can see the lines are taut at the surface, so fast current here slow current at depth. So we see an anchor here, we see a barrier at the surface, anchor at depth, connected to each other, and you see it starts to drift. But then when we release some, uh, some plastic, let's see what happens. So we see the cleanup system moves, but the plastic moves too, but moves faster than the cleanup system. So you see the plastic coming closer to the system, moving faster, hitting the barrier, moving towards the barrier, in the center of the barrier, hitting the barrier, moving towards the center, yeah, it's, it's catching uh, the plastic. There's one barrier, one anchor, two lines connecting them, and a, uh, a central passive collection point to, to buffer the plastic. That's it. We have now modified the ocean cleanup from being one massive system into a fleet of many smaller systems. And this is how we'll rid the oceans of plastic.